this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. Today in this video it's gonna be just me and Lee, and I saw you. Was that you trying to sneak out the doorway? <laughs> that was the least subtle sneaking I've seen. You were like, is he there? Is he there? Oh, he's looking at me. Run, 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 run. There we go. I don't think he saw me. <laughs> I saw you trying to be sneaky. Where were you trying to run off to, Lee? Were you trying to steal this egg? Or did I just pick up this egg from Esther? I'm getting very confused. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I am not after eggs today. Today, I am after cakes. And uh, you can always know uh, I'm after cakes because I am after cakes every day. <laughs> and today is included. <gasps> There we go, down in one, and you got the eggly, so I guess fair's fair. <laughs> right, let's go outside here, and let's try and do the hop and splash. And the last two episodes, Lee, were absolutely disgraceful. You almost did it both times, and both times on the final jump you mucked up, so alright? No silly business today, okay? I want you to, to, to try your best, concentrate, and just take your time, big jobs. No, that's a, a little bit too early there, Lee. A little bit of little bit of breakfast first. Get your hunger up. Okay, go on, big jump, big jump, and there we go. Easily onto the first one. Now this is a very big jump, and oh, <laughs> looks like that jump was a little bit too big for Lee there. So oh, you look all upset, Lee. It's okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> right, tell you what, if I make it this time, this is me making it for you. I'm gonna dedicate this jump to you, Lee. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I actually do any good. Big jump. There we go. That was for you, Lee. That was for you. You're welcome. And and then I failed in the exact same place as you. I'm rubbish at that one. I'm rubbish at this hop and splash. It was okay at the last one. I'm absolutely rubbish at this one. I don't know. Maybe in the next episode, I'm going to actually be able to make it. Anyway, uh, first, I'm going to add someone to the love garden. And I'm actually adding uh, three people to the love garden today. I'm adding uh, Foster, Aiden, and uh, Jolie Topa. Uh, Topo, I think that's how you pronounce their, their final name. And that's because of a video they did. And you can see a clip of it on your screen here where they did a song for me, uh, but they used hand puppets uh, to do the, uh, <laughs> to have uh, me and Squid. And I thought that the puppets were absolutely hilarious. And uh, yeah, basically because of their hand painted puppets, uh, I thought that was amazing. And I wanted to say thank you very much uh, for sending me the video and welcome to my love garden. Anyway, let's go and carry on building the, uh, the dentist. And I am going to pick a dog today. In fact, I'm going to pick a dog as well as another animal. Can you guess what I'm going to be taking with me? Or who I'm going to take with me, should I say? I'm, of course, going to be taking with me... Duncan! Duncan, where are you, boy? Duncan, turn around. Where are you, Duncan? Duncan? Duncan, are you Duncan? Are you Duncan? No, you're not Duncan. Duncan, are you Duncan hiding under there? That's not Duncan, that's Barnaby. Here you are, Duncan. You can be joining me today. And of course, I never take Duncan alone because Duncan uh, has a very special friend who lives up here in my kitty cat condo. And I heard her, I heard her meowing at me. Mittens! Mittens, we're coming. Where are you? Hello, Mittens. <laughs> You're going to be joining me again today. Right, let's go, uh, let's go and dive off the balcony. Big splash i got to hope that Mittens is going to be okay jumping down as well. Are you here, Mittens? Mittens, have you come? Have you joined me? Oh, I can hear her again. Is she up there somewhere? Mittens? Mittens, where are you? I, I can hear her meowing, but I can't see where she's got to. I can't see where Duncan is either. Here they are. Ah, oh, you just splashed all over Mittens there, Duncan. Are you even going to say sorry? Are you even going to apologise to her? No, not even going to apologise. <laughs> They're such a cute couple, aren't they? Look at them there, just staring up at me. Oh, this... I don't know. I, I just love Duncan and Mittens, especially when they're together. I can't spend the whole time looking at them, though, and going, ah, because today we are building, and we are going to carry on building uh, what we started building in the last episode, uh, which is my dentist. And I don't think I ever mentioned what I'm going to call my dentist, by the way, and I do have a name for it. It's actually going to be called the Loose Tooth. <laughs> so this is the uh, the Loose Tooth Dentist. And we actually made a, a small addition since the last episode. Basically, as I walk in, you can see that magically we have magazines up here on the uh, the table. And the fish... Oh no, this fish escaped. Let's try this again. Let's, let's walk through again. Uh, hopefully, the fish should automatically... There we go. The fish automatically go in the fish tank. And then we get the, uh, the magazines on the table. So instead of having to press the button or just throw magazines down, as you walk in, they just magically 
magically appear. And they're going to keep appearing as Duncan and Mittens keep jumping all over their pressure plates. Ah, you're doing that on purpose, Duncan. I know what you're trying to do. Are you trying to get fish to give to Mittens as a present? Okay, there you go, Duncan. You can go and give those to, to Mittens if you want. And uh, we're going to go and start building through here. And this is going to be where the uh, the main dentist surgery is going to be. Uh, this is where he's going to be doing all of his dentistry. And the floor is going to be made out of a light grey wall. And while I'm building this room, I think Lee's going to make a start on the room next door, uh, which is going to be the Tooth Fairy's office. And the Tooth Fairy isn't here yet. We're not going to show her this until it's completely finished. It's actually uh, a big surprise for her. And she has no idea uh, that we're building this dentist for her. So we're basically just going to show up at her house, uh, knock on the door and say, Two Fairy, guess what we have built for you, your very own dentist. And we're going to lead her over here and hopefully... Fingers crossed, she's gonna like it. That's what the uh, the plan is anyway. So uh, I guess we just need to build these rooms along. This room needs to be, uh, I think, a little bit bigger than that room, Lee. I guess if I build along to about here, then we could do the wall in the middle there, do you reckon? I think that looks good. So yeah, we could do one row of spruce uh, along there. And uh, then I'm gonna go and fill in the uh, the mushrooms. And I guess we're gonna have to we're gonna have to say goodbye here, Lee. I guess we're gonna <laughs> build each other into different rooms here. So um, goodbye, Lee. Oh, you just destroyed again. He can't he can't bear to say goodbye to me. Let's build that one along there. And then along the uh, the ceiling, uh, we're gonna do um, oak blocks, uh, just uh, oak planks, just so it'll be. Um, just so it looks the same as the rest of the room, because this is where the uh, the stairs are. Oh, also, um, I finished off the uh, the front of the roof. You remember in the last episode, I didn't even want to attempt doing it because it's really confusing. So uh, let me go out here and just show you. There we go. There's the uh, the way the uh, the roof ended up looking, and I like it. Do you like it, Duncan? Do you think it looks good? Where's Where's Mittens run off to? Oh, here she is. Of course, she won't leave Duncan alone for long. Tell you what, you two can sit down there and uh, you can go and play and do whatever you want to do uh, while me and Lee go back in here and uh, carry on building. And oh, <laughs> magazines all over the place. We're making a mess in there. Are you, are you all right down there, Lee? Have you um, <laughs> have you got yourself stuck in a hole? Have you? <laughs> That's no good, is it? Right. Uh, what's going on here? There's holes in the wall and everything. Oh, the painting's falling off the wall. There's a right mess in here, Lee. <laughs> I leave for five seconds and looks what's happened. Uh, anyway, let's go and uh, try and do the rest of this room then, shall we? This needs to be a grey wall down here. And I guess I should start with the most important thing in any dentist, the dentist chair. And uh, let me see if I can I can work this out. I'm going to put down a uh, crafting table here for now. And I've got some, uh, I've got some uh, blocks of quartz here, of never quartz. And I'm going to turn a few of them, I think, into uh, into half slabs and uh, let me see if I can get a, a good design for this chair so I need a way for you to jump up on it and the way we're going to do it is actually by using a bed and then that way people can actually lie down on it and it will look like they're they're sort of sitting down in a dentist chair so this can be the little uh, step you step on to get on top of it then we can have this here then I'm actually going to do a half slab but only on the top of the block like that and then we can put the bed down on there. And uh, there we go. So this is where they're going to sit down. Then we also need uh, a place for the dentist to go. So if I do a block there. And uh, I'm actually going to go and uh, make some never quartz stairs from here. Uh, as well as some, some iron bars as well. Uh, to try and make it look more like a real dentist chair. And it probably won't look much like one. <laughs> but it'd be just about the best we can do in Minecraft. So if I place that there. And then put steps on top of it there. This is where the dentist can sit, and then this is where the uh, the patient will be uh, as we're there looking at their teeth. But you might have noticed that it's way too dark in here to examine someone's teeth. Uh, so what we need to do is add a big blinding light right above their face, just like <laughs> they have in real dentists. And then I need to do a way of holding it up. So if I do this, this looks like this is the... Um, uh, kind of like the the stand for the light going here next to it and uh, I think this looks okay I think this looks quite cool and then I need to add down a, uh, a lever uh, which I'm going to put on the light and so that when someone's lying down I can just pull the lever down and then this lever should light up so I can see in their mouth let me switch that there we go so this is the uh, this is the the dentist chair I think it looks quite good if you ask me and uh, let's have a little quick check next door and see how Lee's doing whoa you have made some good progress this looks like an office fit for a fairy. We've got some flowers in here, some lovely fairy flowers, pink floor, a nice pink carpet. I guess this is a gap here, yeah, where he's going to do some windows. This is looking good. I need to, to step my game up. I've not done much in here. I think I'm going to put some some more torches up as well, actually, because it is looking a, a little bit dark and gloomy in here. So let's put a torch there 
and uh, a torch here. You can see <laughs> that you can still see the dispenser here. And so I want to find a way to cover that up. If I get rid of this, uh, I can do, um, if I do this along here, this can be like a, a counter. And I might make it look like there's a computer on there. And I guess I'll do the same on this side. What I might actually do is try and make a sink. Uh, they always have a sink. So if I get a bucket and a cauldron, and uh, oh, I'm getting completely full up here. Carefully, don't pick up my bucket. Right, I need to throw away something that I don't need. There we go. I don't need the button. I can throw that away. And uh, did you pick up my my cauldron there, Lee? Did you? Can you have you have you got a cauldron in your pocket? There we go. I can plonk this down here, and this can be my sink. And then if I go and get my myself some some water, uh, I can go and put that in the uh, in the sink. And uh, then I can uh, have it as if that's like the uh, the little basin. And I thought Mittens had gone running off then, but Mittens is there, still behaving. So let me just run over here quickly and uh, go and grab a little bit of water. And uh, then I can go run back and fill up the sink. And then that should make it look a little bit more like a dentist. And then I need to have all of the dentist equipment. I'm going to have a chest full of very dentisty things. I'm going to fill that up. And uh, so, yeah, we can have everything that you need. And look, look what Lee's done on the wall. <laughs> is that supposed to be a tooth, Lee? Is that a little tooth in a picture frame? <laughs> Ah oh dear. Just in case the uh, the dentist forgets what they're supposed to be looking at. Just in case someone shows up and they start looking in their ears, then they have to go, oh no, it's teeth. That's what I look at. <laughs> right, so let's go fill up this sink here. And uh, then if I go make a, um, I can make a trap door and put it over the top. Uh, should make it look a bit more like a sink and I'm making an absolute mess here. I'm going to have to throw something away. Do you want some things, Lee? Do you want to hold on to some things for me? Do you want to look up? There's some more pink wool for you. And uh, there's the egg that you wanted so much and a button as well. There we go, Lee. There's there's some presents for you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so let me go and put that down there. Actually, oh no, forget that. What I could do is, uh, if I, actually no, I leave that there as well, but I do a lever as well, as if that's like a, a tap. I could actually do two of these levers, maybe. Actually no, because then there won't be room for the chest. If I just do that there, then that will open and close it. This looks okay, doesn't it? And then on this side, I'm going to try and make it look like there's a, a computer there. And I've done this before, but the way I always do it is by getting a, um, a, a stone pressure plate. And doing that down here as, this, as if this is the uh, the laptop. And then I need a, a small painting, just a, a one block wide painting. So let me go and uh, make one of these. And then if I plonk that on top of it, it should hopefully... Whoa! That looks like a very... That's like a TV, not a computer. Nope, too big again. Nope, too big again. Perfect, there we go. Here's my, my little computer down here. And I might actually uh, put this lever here. And then if you pull this down, uh, it will fire out a fish. If you want uh, some manual fish to come out, <laughs> you can just press that to get more fish. And whoa, what's going on here? <laughs> Is that the uh, the dentistry picture? <laughs> I like it. I mean, you probably wouldn't get a picture quite like that in a dentist, but it doesn't matter. And oh, look, uh, Lee's added some some windows down here. That looks cool as well. Uh, I might actually, actually oh, it's, no, you're not ready for your examination yet, Lee. I haven't got the, uh, the equipment yet. Uh, what I might do is add uh, another window down here somewhere. I might add um, uh, two little window frames down there. Do you have any glass panes on you, Lee? Uh, you can plonk them down on you. I've got some normal glass, but no glass panes. Well, here we go. He's thrown a, a few of these to me. I only need a, a couple of these. I can plonk these down here. And what a view there, looking into the uh, the pretty kitty. That looks cool, doesn't it? Right, so let me go and make all of my, my dentistry apparatus then. So I'm going to make a chest first and plonk that up here so I can put everything in it. And uh, what would the uh, the dentist need then? Right, first I'm going to run outside and empty out a lot of my pockets. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Every time I walk past, I get one of those rubbishy magazines. Right, let me go and empty out a load of these things that I don't need because uh, my pockets are completely full here. There we go. I feel so much better and lighter now. I've got rid of all of those things. And uh, let me go and make uh, everything I need in here then. So uh, the first thing they're going to need is uh, something to work on the teeth. So I think the best thing for them to have would be a pickaxe. So there we go. There's a, a pickaxe here especially if you're working on someone with very big teeth. Uh, I've got here some string. This string can be floss. <laughs> and then here we've got some golden nuggets. These can be some, some golden teeth that we can uh, put in people's mouths. And uh, something else that I also want to do is uh, to add some, some mouthwash. So let me just go uh, back here and grab some of my, um, grab some glass. And I can make myself some glass bottles. And if I fill them up with water, uh, we can pretend that that's the uh, the mouthwash. So where are glass bottles? Are they round here? Here we go. I can go get a whole load of these. And if I just run down back here to the water, I can go and fill all of these up. I think you can fill them up from the water like this, can't you? There we go. I can get a whole load of these. And I can fill these all up in the chest. And oh, no, nope, got too many. <laughs> this will do. This will do. I can throw the rest away. And I go and fill the whole chest up with them. And uh, then I'm going to get Lee to sit down. And I can go and examine his teeth. <laughs> They're probably better than my teeth because he doesn't spend uh, all day um, eating a uh, cake like I do. And Lee, 
You're not allowed in here. You've got to go sit in the waiting room. Go sit in the waiting room and read a book, and I'll call you when I'm ready. God, these customers just walking straight in. The uh, the tooth fairy wouldn't approve. <laughs> it looks like I've got way too much mouthwash here. Right, I'm going to have uh, something to eat first uh, before I bring Lee in. Uh, they always make you wait for ages in dentists, so I'm just going to stand here and wait for a little bit. Maybe top up the fish a little bit in case Lee gets bored and wants to see some fish. And uh, then I'm going to call him in. Right, um, can I see a Lee Bear? Is Lee Bear here at all? Is there a Lee Bear? Oh, hello, Lee Bear. Follow me through here. You can leave the other uh, magazines on the table if you want. And uh, come in and take a seat. And so how long was it since your last checkup? Um, okay, I can see here that you've never had a checkup. So come through. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I'm just the dentist. Uh, come up here and uh, have a have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. And uh, I'll start examining. Let me just uh, switch the light on here. Okay, please say ah. Uh. Please, please say ah. Uh. Oh, if you're going to be stubborn about it. Okay, I'm just going to have to to work anyway. Let me have a look. Hmm. Hmm. Two to the four to the nine. Twelve to the six to the twelve to the nine. This is the weird dentist code that they always say. Right, let me get some of my apparatus. I'm going to have to... Okay, open widely, open wide. Hmm, let me just move this tooth out of the way. Hmm, yes, I see. Okay, I see. All right. Hmm. Okay, so uh, let me just uh, give you a little bit of floss. I'm going to floss your teeth right now. A little bit of floss. There you go. Oh, careful. Oh, sorry, Lee. Sorry, Lee. Sit, sit back down. You got all a bit excited there. There's a bit of floss in your mouth. <laughs> oh, dear. And, uh, yes, I think you need uh, some gold teeth. I think that's your problem. You don't have enough gold teeth. So let me let me give you that. Oh, that looks good. That's a that's a good look. And um, there's there's some mouthwash for you as well there, Lee, if you want to wash your mouth out. You should have done that before you came, to be honest. Otherwise, you've got very smelly breath. And you don't want to have a smelly breath when you go to the dentist. So you can go and have some of that mouthwash and um i think i know what the problem is lee i think i know what the uh, the problem with your mouth is i think the issue is is your mouth doesn't open you see it looks like your mouth doesn't open whatsoever which means that i don't even know if you've got any teeth which is an issue for me as a dentist so um all i can really prescribe to you is uh, maybe try and practice opening your mouth and then come back in six months for another checkup, and uh, I'll see what we can see, okay? <laughs> you can stand up now. There's a sink over here if you want to go and wash your mouth out after that. Um, maybe the, maybe if you get any more spare teeth, I could try putting them in. But yeah, that, that's that's the, the main problem. <laughs> oh dear. If you can't tell, I am not actually a trained dentist. I was kind of just making it up as we go along. But I, I don't think anyone noticed. <laughs> oh dear. I, I guess I should have a, a quick checkup as well while I'm here, Lee. Do you want to do you wanna have a quick checkup uh, with me? And uh, see how mighty far- Oh no! I fell on the floor, Lee! I fell on the floor! Oh no, I slipped off the seat! Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm back on. I'm back on. I sit back down. Oh no! I fell off again! This seat is way too slippy. You spit mouthwash all over here, Lee, and now I keep slipping off. This is ridiculous. If the tooth fairy here uh, was here, she wouldn't be happy. <laughs> Actually, speaking of the, uh, the tooth fairy... And let me go and have a little quick look next door and uh, see how the, the room looks finished. I think it looks nice, but I think it needs to be a little bit fairier. What what else would would fairies like? Um, I don't I don't know a way to make it more magical. To be honest, what have, what have we got on us? Um, does she like fish? Do fairies like fish at all? Maybe we could give her. Let's leave her a fish in her seat. Maybe she'll like that. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I guess we can try and come up one way. Oh, cake. She might like cake. That's a, a good idea. I might add uh, another window here as well. Might look quite good. And uh, I left my glass in the the chest here. So I'm gonna go grab some more glass. I'm gonna go and uh, make another window there. And actually, maybe I should um. Get uh, Duncan and Mittens in. Maybe they need a, a checkup as well, possibly. <laughs> to see how their teeth are. And hello, Lee. How's it going? <laughs> right, Duncan. Right, Mittens. Do you want to come in for your for your, for your your checkup? Please just take a, a seat in the uh, the waiting room for now. And uh, I'll call you in when I'm ready. Mittens, Duncan. Do you want, do you want to come in? Duncan. No, in, in here. Through here, Duncan. Nope. <laughs> oh, I think they're scared of the dentist. To be fair, I used to be scared of the dentist as well. There's nothing to be scared of, though. It's absolutely fine. So in the next episode, we're going to go and bring the uh, the tooth fairy over here and uh, introduce her to the uh, to the, the loose tooth <laughs> and uh, see whether she likes it. And also uh, play a dentist-themed minigame. So that's going to be very good fun. But sadly, we have just about run out of time in this episode here. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!